Yo guys, what is happening? We are back with another video and right now we are at Troy Motor Mall. Oh my goodness. Jeez, oh peace. Oh like wow. Man, man, man. This is insane. Oh man, then this look, look at this gloss over here, man. See, I would love to drive one of these, man. I would. I think this is that perfect Monte. It is. Wow. It is a perfect Monte. It's it's crazy. Like it's really, really crazy just uh seeing like a perfect Monte version of the uh of the uh Eurus. It's wild. I never thought I would ever saw one of these. Um yeah, man. Then what is this? It looks like a. Camera. Is that a camera? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It might be a camera, but that's just that, that's wild. That's really really wild. Yeah. See, it it is like it is that season, man, where a lot of people are gonna start like purchasing, um, you know, their high end exotic cars and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, they currently have no Rolls Royces in here, so apparently they did sell all the Rolls Royces. I do got to make sure the next time I come back in here that I do, uh, you know, that I do vlog, you know, that I vlog the, um, the Rolls Royces. Let's see what we got over here. Um, this is the, uh, the Bugatti dealership. Um, I have never saw a Bugatti in here ever. But there has been times, uh, very, very few times, I think like a couple years ago, it was a uh, Chiron Persport. And then here, as you can see through the uh, through the glass, oh man, look at that Bentley. Then they got a Maserati. Then they got an Aston Martin right here. That dude, you know what, this is crazy because it's like I can honestly, I can see this 10 times better then I can see this like just with my regular hand. That is wild. I like that. I like that a lot. And then when we come in over here, we got the McLaren, uh, the McLaren dealership, which this is the 600 LT Spider. This is a very insanely gorgeous car. It is. Um, See, look how low this is to the ground. See, this is the why, this is a prime example why I would really prefer something like a Rolls Royce open this because you see how low this is, man. Like, by this car being so low, there is a very, very high chance of you, like, uh, you know, like, let's say you're pulling up to a car meet or something like that, and you are, um, you know, turning. You know what I'm saying? Turn it and there's like a curve. It's a very, very high chance that you're probably going to end up scraping that curve. Look at that, man. Then they got like the uh, um, the calibers to match. See, I like I like these uh, ceramic. Uh, I don't know if I would call that ceramic, but I like the uh, you know the steel rollers. But yeah, man, like it's just the chance of you getting like really, really uh, too close to something and scraping it is like very, very high. Um, so yeah, so basically with that being said, that's just going to cost you, that's just going to cost you like an ass load of money. And then we have the McLaren GT over here, which this is also, um, actually I'm more of a fan of the McLaren GT than I am the, uh, the 600, uh, LT just because, um, like I'm, I'm really crazy about luxury, about luxury. So that's why I like, uh, you know, that that's why I like the uh, McLaren GT because it puts out that luxury. It put, it, it like really puts out like those luxury features. And that front end, I love it, as well as the uh, the rear end. And matter of fact, I want to see if I can actually get them to like, uh, actually okay. like. How you doing, man? Good. Good, good. Right. Yep. Awesome. And it's like, I actually want to see if I can actually get them to, like, uh, like open the doors or something like that. Because it's, um, 
Yeah, man, it's, it's really, really amazing. Like, you know, seeing these cars with the doors open. But, um, but as y'all seen, those, uh, those yours is in there, though, dude, those were just, those were like next level, this next level shit. And then here we have the other uh, Artura. Um, this one, uh, th this one is, it's pretty unique. It's unique for what it is. Um, the design, the front end is pretty unique for what it is. I like it. Um, it wouldn't be like my choice of pick if it came to like a McLaren, but it's not, it's beautiful. That's all I got to say. It's a, it's a really, really gorgeous, beautiful car. You know what I'm saying? Can't hate on it. Then we got another uh, McLaren GT over here. Same exact thing. Um, least special. Dude, holy shit. So look at that. So the Elite Special is 2,749, 36 months, 5,000 uh, 5, miles, a year, 10,000 cash down. Dude, that is a lot of cash. That is a lot of cash. So, and y'all see, man, dude, the door, like, like Josh and Ron says, the doors go up. They do. Look at that, you just open that up. How, how could you not love this? How? Just how could you not? This is the epitome of luxury and exotic. Who knows, maybe I might give you one of these, you know, one day, you know, when I got money, when, when I got money, and uh, you know, I just, I, I kind of end up blowing up off YouTube, you know, who knows? But I really, really want me a rose. I do, I really want me a rose. This Alcantara, even on the seats, man, it's crazy. And I mean, you can see that this Alcantara, just you know, just by rubbing your hand across. This car is a, it's a beauty. And then you can see the the, the big vents and stuff, like over here. Like this, this car, man, it, it is a, it's a piece of art, is all I can say. Then it's got GT here on the uh, on the inside over there. Wow, man, this is just, I don't know, man. Again, I probably would not give me a McLaren just because of how low this car sits. It just sits, it sits extremely low. Again, like I say, it's, it's basically the same thing with that 600 LT over there. It's like when you're pulling up to the beach, just the chances of you just, you know, hitting something, it's just, it's greatly odd. You know what I mean? It is greatly odd. Speed I'm not talking about hitting it like head on. I'm talking about like swiping something is what I'm talking about. And then it's like, man, that's just going to end up being a ton of money, you know, that you're just going to have to pay out just, just to repair, you know, a side fender or something like that. Like, dude, this car basically, this car really kind of gives me like the, uh, the Maybach vibes. You know, it does. Like, this, the, the front grill and everything like that, it, it gives me... It made by wives. It does. Then we got the Vintage over here, which wow, this very different way. Wait a minute, is this the Vintage? I think it is. Yes, it is. So you jump on 23 and go. Y'all know me. Y'all know how I am about, about luxury and everything like that. Y'all know how I am about that. Like it's this. It's making me that way. Wow. This one is a more sport, uh, sportier uh, continental. I guess you, you could just say a mixture of like sport and luxury again. See, look at all those buttons in there. I would definitely have to take this over to McLaren. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would definitely have to. Andrew, I don't know how you feel, which car you would take. I think I would take that McLaren in there. Or not the McLaren. I think I would take this bit. Uh, this Bentley over there, but that's because it's just a lot more room. Then we got the other GT over here as well, too. This one is just the yeah, other regular, uh, regular V8. Um, it's got tinted windows, I want to say probably um, like 20%, I want to say. You can still see through, like it's not completely like. Then 
it's got the uh, Bentley calibers and everything on it. So this car, man, it's just, it's, it's got the whole look of it. It does. It's got the whole look of it. seems too basic. So the interior, the interior it is black with like red stitching and everything like that. But it's like if I'm gonna get something like this, like see I would have to have this black uh, exterior with that um with like that tan interior like here to you know to spice it up, give it a lot more of a uh, you know of a look and everything like that. So yeah. Alright, then we have another this one has the uh, blue soft top, um, and looks like we got um, black with like a burgundy, burgundy kind of like red. Um, I'm not sure what you would call like this. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you would call that that pattern or design right there, but it looks pretty neat. I like it. Um, oh man, look at the carbon fiber down here. What are you on the side skirt? See, and that's what I was telling you guys before. Just imagine if you're pulling up to a meet, like in a McLaren, and you accidentally scrape the side of the curb. Imagine how much that would cost us to get repaired. It would be stupid. Um, same thing here. It's got the uh, the red, uh, the red Bentley uh, calibers. Those things are huge. They're ginormous. And uh, man, this is this is heavy. I don't come here very often, but I try to come here whenever I can. And if you guys can see right here, the uh, leasing price, five grand, that's pretty damn crazy. And for 30, uh, 39 months, 75,000, not 75,000, sorry. 7,500 miles, what is that, like a year or so? And then $10,000 cash now. Who has the type of money? All right, guys, so that is it for the content today. My boy is now about to take me back home, and I am about to, you know, record some more uh, for my gaming channel. This was a, uh, this was an experience, especially for him because, you know, he's never, um, because he's never been to, like, a dealership like this. So this was definitely a, uh, an experience for him uh, himself. God, I did. They did let me sit in a McLaren GT. Yeah, you gotta turn it down. You gonna get me copyrighted, sir? So yeah, uh, they did. Um, they let me sit in a McLaren GT. I was just, I was extremely, just mind blown away. I never thought I would have got the uh, the chance to like to sit in one of those, man. Oh man, when I say it was a, uh, it was an experience. It was an experience. I should just go right. Um, man, man, man. I'm gonna I'm try to have my boy bring me back up here so I can, uh, you know, tell one of the uh, the service, uh, the service managers, hey man, I want a job, I want to work here. This is my passion, you feel me? Because <laughs> it's like, y'all know how much I love cars. I'm really into dunks, but it's like, I don't mind the supercars. I don't. I really, I keep saying, I really, really want a Rolls Royce. We're going to make that happen, though, man. I'm, I'm going to make that happen. I'm not just going to keep saying that. I am going to make that happen. Like, I'm going to manifest it. Right, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah, buddy. And actually, man, the weather doesn't feel too, uh, too bad out, too chilly. It's pretty nice out right now. So we both out here just in our hoodies, as you as you just seen. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure when we're gonna be coming back here again, but probably very soon. Whenever you know the next time we hang out and he's not busy, but I am gonna be uh, coming back there. Uh, not specifically, you know, to like Lamborghini, but to other dealers like uh, like Acura, Cadillac, 
um, pretty much all the dealers. And yeah, man, I'm just gonna be, uh, you know, shooting content. You know, like I told y'all before in my previous video, in my recent previous video, it's time to stop procrastinating because I've just been sitting around doing nothing but just dreaming. And as my dad always told me, nothing comes to a uh, to a sleeper but a dream. And it's a very true thing. Meaning, if you just procrastinate and just dream, that's all you're ever going to do. Nothing, you know, you're never going to see the reality. So, if you put, you know, your imagination into actions, then everything in your dreams will come true. So, with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed you know my my vlog my car vlog today i actually feel happy i'm going home with a smile on my face um you know hey i got to sit in one of my favorite uh supercars so hey why not but yeah man hopefully y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like and subscribe to my channel if you already have it and yeah i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching y'all have a good evening